Occasionally, it's necessary to update the Sparks firmware and the accompanying Spark app on your smart device to improve performance and install new features. The firmware is the software that's installed directly onto the AMP and is not to be confused with the Spark app that's found on your phone or tablet. In this video, I'll demonstrate the firmware update process as well as the app update process. Now, a quick note for Windows users, you'll need to first install the ASIO driver before updating the firmware on your AMP. Please find a link to this in the description. Step number one is to turn on your Spark AMP. And first, back up your custom presets to the Tone Cloud or to the Spark app. This is optional, but it's handy in case anything goes wrong and you'll lose your presets on your AMP. At this point in the process, do not have your AMP plugged into your PC or Mac just yet. Now step number two is to download, unzip and launch the firmware update tool. You can find direct links to both the Windows and Mac versions in the description below. Note that the updater software should be started before plugging the USB cable into the Spark AMP. For Mac users who encounter a message that states, can't be opened because Apple cannot check it for malicious software. First, dismiss it by clicking OK. Then, try again by right-clicking on the installer and selecting Open. This may bring up the same dialog, but now with an option to open the file anyway. So click on that. There's links in the description that further explain this process. Now that the firmware installer is launched, Step number three is to connect your Spark AMP to the computer using the bundled USB cable or any other USB cable that has a type B connector. With the firmware updater launched and your USB cable connected, click on connect hardware. In many instances, when you plug in the USB cable, it'll automatically detect the hardware. If the firmware updater does not connect to the hardware, please try restarting your computer and your Spark AMP and unplugging and replugging in the USB cable again. Once the hardware is detected, click check to update. The app will now start updating the firmware. And once the update is completed, the message your firmware is up to date will appear. Be sure to check if the new firmware version meets the latest version as described on the download page. If attempts to update the firmware keep failing, then try to update the firmware with a different computer. Once again, the Spark firmware updater and ASIO driver links are available in the description below. Now let's talk about updating the Spark app on your smart device. The Spark app runs on iOS version 11.3 or later and Android OS version 8.1 or later. And from time to time, it's necessary to update the Spark app to install new features and upgrades. Here's how it's done. To update the Spark app on iPhone or iPad, on your iOS device, go to the Apple App Store, click on your profile, you'll see a list of apps that you've previously installed. Click on Update next to the Spark app. You'll also have the option of updating all apps. To turn automatic updates on or off in your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, go to Settings, tap App Store, and in there you can turn on or off automatic app updates. To update the Spark app on Android phone or tablets, simply open up the Google Play Store app. At the top right, tap on the profile icon. Tap Manage Apps and Device, and apps with an available update will be labeled Update Available. You can also search for a specific app. If there's an update available for the Spark, simply tap Update. 